Hey folks, this is IOE and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Deadly Smurf in his T30. It's a tier 10 game on Cliff. And uh, Deadly wrote me saying that this is going to be a game without gold because apparently he got tired of the spam all day long. Um, I don't know if that was with him spamming or with other people spamming. I, I don't I don't really know. But um, apparently he, it's just going to be a, a Plain and simple game that anybody should be able to play. Um, assuming. Ah, yes. So apparently everybody's going to shoot and them all day long. And so he decided to play the T30, which, if he gets held down, doesn't care. <laughs> it doesn't really care what people shoot at it. As long as they don't hit the little four or the tiny little triangle just above the gun mantle, he's going to be safe from everything that comes at him. Um. I also do want to say, uh, if you didn't see yesterday's video, I'm sorry that it was gone so long. Um, I explained in great detail there what happened, but basically, sickness, work got crazy, and the PC died for the last, like, week and a bit. And so, yay, that was fun. I did upgrade it, though, so it should be performing a little better. However, it's going to be a little weird for a while. Um, I can't guarantee that the recordings go perfectly until I get everything smoothed out and I'm going to have to do some work to make sure that happens. Um, but overall, you guys should still be getting games uh, on a regular basis up until at least um, next Wednesday. I can't guarantee videos after next Wednesday for about a week because my family's going on vacation. It's been planned out for a long time and this computer debacle was never planned, so I, I will record as much as I possibly can before that time. I cannot guarantee I will have stuff ready to go after that time. Um, so yeah. But uh, we haven't actually gotten into the action yet, so now that I've stopped rambling, we can! As he goes ahead and puts a nice meaty shell into that poor Ferdinand, who obviously was not expecting anybody to be able to hit him from there. But Quite clearly, obviously, he was wrong because immediately after we smacked him, somebody else smacked him as well. And it looks like, nope, we're not going to be able to finish him. There's a rock in the way. But this Chrysler is close enough that we can. Oh, yeah, but a nice meaty shell to the side. I thought we had 600. Yeah, 750 average damage. We rolled for just barely less than 700. That's annoying. But, I mean, oh well, right? It happens. We did get an 800 roll just before that, so I guess we can't complain too much. Um, this Chrysler has obviously not learned his lesson. As <laughs> Deadly goes ahead and puts another shell straight through the guy. And just leaves the empty husk behind. A moss. Also in the open, but not as much so. Um, we'd have to hit the flat of his turret front in order to go through him. That side armor is just too strong when it's angled. Well, but if you had it, sorry, it is early in the morning. I'm trying to record before I go to work, so you guys have something to watch tomorrow. Um, it looks like the fire blind, right, where you assume the moth is going to end up again. Uh, we'll see if that has, has in fact done anything. And nope, didn't. Um, either we didn't hit him or we bounced. Um, Oh, oh, Wrangles there, trying to get back into cover. I don't know if Deadly was expecting him to overangle, or if that was just a lucky coincidence. But that worked out well as we put a good shot into the side of that guy. And there we go, this is a nice high roll, so I guess that makes up for any low rolls that we've had in the past little bit. 183 finally goes down. Unfortunately, uh, it took long enough that, um, we lost the Chrysler in the meantime, but I mean, a Chrysler for a 183, yeah, we'll take that every, every day of the week, right? Um, with nearly 3,000 damage working at the shot on the ISM. Through the side of his turret. Yep, that'll go in. Uh, there's still a moss back here somewhere, but the rest of the enemies in the area seem to be crumbling. So this moss is not going to do too much to, to hold us back. I mean, he's got crossfire coming in from the T-44, and 
quite possibly one or two other things up on that ridge line, obviously including artillery. Um, but they, we just got whipped for the first time in the game, right there. Um, so, right up until just now, nobody's been looking at us. Now, of course, the Scorpion G is going to hurt, and we cannot take um, like more than a couple more shells from him. So, we're not even bothering to try. That was just going to angle in here and try and shoot through the side of the turret. It does, in fact, go through it, and then, oh, it's like mad. Wow! Um, so apparently I definitely can't get anything in the, the middle of the range. It's either way huge, huge damage, way over his average roll, or it's just you know tiny, like, flex the damage that we're throwing at them. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the door of punch his gun isn't seeming to be a thing. Um, he's not going to be able to hit the T44, the T44 in a little tiny dip. There's just enough to drop them below where we can hit them. The Scorpion G, though, is up on top of the cliff line. And yes, we can see the back end of his tank. Yep, I mean, it wasn't huge damage, but it's a kill, and he hit us already. So, of course, revenge is sweet. We're going to speed this up because the rest of their team seems to all be over there. And um, I'd like to be able to get there before the battle's done. Unfortunately, our platoon mate dies in the M48. I actually wasn't paying attention to where he was. Oh! Oh no! They just created the platoon. Oh no! What? That was my mistake. I did not mean to do that. But. Yeah, they just created the platoon in hopes of being a brothers in arms. And then the guy actually oh, died just in the, in the wrong time as to make it impossible to get the brothers in arms. That is unfortunate. Well, T30 looking the wrong way, thankfully. We can go ahead and put a shell straight through the side of his tank. Um, if he looks over here, he's not going to take a step before we reload. Which is good because, of course, um, you know, we could like kill him. Is he going to back off into nothingness? He's in fact going to roll back down into the water, but we bounce. Ah! The game is over, and only now do we start drowning, so hopefully we get to live through this thing, and this is called a victory. Yep, that's what happens. Well done, sir. That was awesome. Let's go check out the battle results and see what he got for that game. That was actually just the two marks of excellence. There wasn't any real other medals involved. But still, uh, second marks of excellence is, that's, that's always an awesome, nice little, um, stepping stone? It's not the right, landmark, milestone. That's what I was trying to get to. Um, those are always awesome. Second class master badge, okay, fire perfect, okay. But, uh, overall, this was actually a well played game, the fact that he didn't take any damage for the first, like, two-thirds of the game, three-quarters, somewhere in there, was really good. If he hadn't jumped off that cliff after the dying enemy T-30, um, he would have come through this game completely unscathed, or almost completely unscathed, uh, except for that scorpion hit, of course, um, and so that would have been quite awesome. Unfortunately, though, he jumps off the cliff, he takes an extra 450 damage, and he doesn't even get the shot in to kill the enemy T-30. I mean, uh, right? Okay, well, other than that, this was a great game. Uh, platoon up with a random, hoping to get that brother in arms. Unfortunately, they did not. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, well played, sir. Thank you so much for saying this in. I can't wait to see everybody's next games, but especially Deadly's next game. Um, fills me with hope. <laughs> Right? No goal fired in this game. That was awesome. Uh, so I'll see you all next time. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE Threat.